This is Module 1, Lesson 11. Today's objective was to model division as the unknown factor in multiplication using arrays and tape diagrams. Number 1. Fred has 10 pairs. He puts two pairs in each basket. How many baskets does he have? Letter A. Draw an array where each column represents the number of pairs in each basket. So my objective today was to figure out the unknown factor. When I look at this problem, I see Fred has 10 pairs total. So I'm going to start with a 10. He puts two pairs into each basket. It tells me my column has to represent the number of pairs in each basket. So that means my column has to be two. A column is up and down, so that's one column of two. And I need to get to 10. There are four, six, eight, ten. It looks like I have five columns, so 10 divided by five, 2 equals 5. Letter B. Redraw the pairs in each basket as a unit in the tape diagram. Label the diagram with known and unknown information from the problem. I can see that one unit is already done for me and they've just recopied the twos into a unit of the tape diagram. I'm going to continue by filling in the rest with groups of two. My unit represents two pairs because Fred put two pairs into each basket. The total is representing the 10 pairs that Fred had and each of those lines in the tape diagram is representing the baskets that they were put into which is five baskets. Number, number two, Miss Meyer organizes 15 clipboards equally into three boxes. How many clipboards are in each box? Model the problem with both an array and a labeled tape diagram. Show each column as the number of clipboards in each box. So Mrs. Myers has 15 total clipboards that she's putting into three boxes. I need to draw both an array and a labeled tape diagram. My column needs to be the number of clipboards in each box. I'm going to start with my array and I'm going to make three column or I'm sorry, three rows till I get to 15. 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So over here I have fifteen clipboards divided into three boxes equals the amount of rows, which is five. I'm going to turn this picture into a tape diagram. So to start, I'm going to draw a solid rectangle. When I look at my columns, I have one, two, three columns. So I'm going to partition my rectangle into three parts. In each of my columns, I have five dots. 
So I'm going to put those five dots into each of the boxes. I need to label what the five dots represent, and those are five clipboards. My total is representing three boxes and 15 total clipboards. So there are five clipboards in each box.